Well, this is your first late night screening. How do you feel? Murmur. Very tired, but it was so worth it. <laughs> oh my god. It's okay. It's past Mari's bedtime, so right after this we're going to go put you to sleep. Nate, Nate. You shush. <laughs> you shush. Hi guys. Welcome back to the Charming Analysis channel. I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, this is going to be part one of four. We're going to be doing a four-part Thanksgiving special for you guys. Mm -hmm. So we decided to divide it up into four parts because, honestly, this episode in and of itself and the, the length of this movie that we're going to talk about probably deserves its own fucking episode. Mm -hmm. So... Today, we're going to be reviewing Thanksgiving. The, that's literally what the fucking movie's called. It's basically a Thanksgiving horror movie. Yep. So why don't you explain what it's about, honey? Because since we just literally got back from watching it, so it should be fresh in our mind. All right. It's about a town in Plymouth, Plymouth Massachusetts. Massachusetts, and there is a killer on the loose. For this Thanksgiving, because last Thanksgiving was a terrible Black Friday shopping incident. Nightmare. Yes, and now the killer is out for revenge, and we follow the people in a, in a massacre, final destination type shit. Yeah, <laughs> but legit, this gave, like, final destination vibes, but make it Thanksgiving. Yes. Um... So, I actually, I was the one that suggested us going to see this movie because I kept seeing so many fucking trailers and commercials. And I was like, okay, I don't care if this is fucking cheesy or what. We're going to go fucking watch this. And so I told Jay, finally, we're going to fucking watch it, like, today. Yes. We literally got the last screening of the day because at this point, I got out of work and I was like, fuck it. I'm taking my bean to a movie. Yes. Mo late night movie date. Fucking worth it. If you guys don't really go on late night movie dates, please give it a try at least once. It's actually really fun. It is fun. I like going to the movies. Just despite, be safe if you do. Despite it being a dying art at this time. Yeah, but be safe when you do. Yes. That is one thing I will say. Be safe when you do. Yes, definitely. Because you never know what area you're in, but we are very safe when we do this. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, what did you think of Thanksgiving? The movie. I'm just going to call it Thanksgiving the movie. We're just going to call it that. Just to make it easier on y'all. Yeah. And stuff. But what did you think of it, honey? I thought it was... All right. Because I think for me it peaked in the first ten minutes. Like, for me. I'm not saying the rest of the movie was bad or anything. I'm just saying the most suspenseful part of that movie was the first ten minutes. For Which me. I was not expecting. And I... <sighs> I feel like with, like, a big, like, I feel like with a big crowd where anything could happen in the first ten minutes of that movie, I feel like I was going to be nervous no matter what. Like, I, I, I don't like, I just don't like that. Like, a big crowd and you know something terrible is going to happen and you just don't know what. So I was like, yep, this is going to be how the movie starts and this is going to be the motive for the killing of why this killing keeps happening to certain people and you know why and it's... I don't know, I like... Uh, it was just like... For the rest of the movie, it was just like... um That... Like you got that vibe from it. I got the vibe from it. Um... Because I was like, I wasn't really paying, like, I wasn't really paying attention to any of the characters or anything like that. Like, I like I didn't really care about the characters, you could say. You were just trying to figure out what the fuck happened and who's, like, killing everybody. No, I was just there for the spectacle of it, honestly. It was just kind of like, I'm here for the spectacle and the vibes, pretty much. And it was good at showing off those vibes. I can only like compare this what what else to the We we watched the one that was like similar it was like Freaky Friday, which was also like a slasher like um it was a more comedic take, but 
Yeah. Um, it was like, it was like, it's like these like new age slasher movies that keep coming out. And it's sort of along those veins, I should say about that. Um, I don't know. Freaky Friday had much more of a better, like a more memorable premise to me. Um, I get that. But I wouldn't say it's bad. I'm just saying for me, it peaked in the first 10 minutes because you had no idea what was hap- going to happen to any of these people. Yeah, and you like you weren't really expecting it. But and before I, we go any further, we yeah. are going to warn you that there are spoilers because we just saw this fucking movie and it just came out literally yesterday. It was spoil everything. <laughs> We're not spoiling everything, but don't be surprised. It, like, I'm just giving a spoiler warning in case you guys are interested in seeing it. Um... We are going to spoil a little bit. Probably not a lot of it, but a little bit of it. Because, honestly, like, for me, I was not sure what I was going to be getting into with this movie. I just kept seeing the trailers for it, and I was like, fuck it. I don't care if this is cheesy or not. We're fucking watching this. You're like, ooh, a Thanksgiving horror movie. I should go see that. Well, because we've seen, we've seen Krampus already, which is like a Christmas horror movie. And I was like, fuck it. We already, like, saw that. We've seen a bunch of other horror movies. Let's do a fucking Thanksgiving horror movie review. Because I think that'd be fun. And it completes the fucking trinity. So I was like, fuck it. We're going to watch it. And honestly, I liked this a lot more than I was expecting. I'm not going to lie. I (laughs) did not know what I was expecting going into this. But I actually liked this movie, oddly enough. Like, it was interesting. Like, granted, this movie was fucking two hours. (laughs) Like, this is a two-hour fucking movie. But it felt interesting. Like, I will admit, though, like... Meandering. Meandering at points sometimes, though. Not all the points, but they they did have some points where the pacing was just kind of off. I will say that. The pacing is off on a few parts, mainly because a lot of them was just trying to figure out... Okay. I think there's too many characters. I really do think there was too many characters. Like, in the main cast, or, like, or, like, out of, like, the group of friends? Like, everyone. (laughs) Like, there's too many characters, characters, I thought. Like, there's too many, like, I don't know. It was too many. People to follow. Yeah. Which, from, I can kind of agree with that, to be honest, like, a little bit. But I think for the way that they paced it out, I still think it was... A little bit too much, but just enough to where you're engaged with it. But one thing I will say, because, like, one thing I will say about this is basically I was not expecting it to be, like, as gory as it was. That's something I was not expecting, because there was, like, a lot of parts, like, when we were in the fucking theater where I was, like, covering my mouth in just shock, and you were, like, laughing at me. Because you were like, oh my gosh, my I, I've been desensitized to most things that are violent. Not that it doesn't freak me out. It's just the fact that I can't help but laugh at it. Because it's like, but still, I'm more thinking about, what in my head, I watch too much. Um, I watch too much of FX. Um, <laughs> where's the sci-fi channel? Um, but I kept thinking about like... I just more think about, like, how practical these things are. Like, I more marvel at the fact of, like, whoa, oh my God, how did they do that? I mean, you know, it was how interesting they... of how they did some of this stuff. I'm not going to lie. Like, some of this shit, I was actually surprised they fucking showed half of it. I liked that body. I liked that the, the, I liked the, the I, I could say this, I liked the turkey body. You liked the fucking human turkey body. I'm like, I was surprised, like, wow. I know it's just makeup, but it was, like. It Damn, was it interesting. It looks like some. It looks like a human was actually baked and what is cut it like cut no carved. like spread. Oh, like the way that they positioned them. No, like get the 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 basted. The ba- it like, it's like a human was based and like you you got the exact color, even though I'm sure a human body does not do that. <laughs> Does not bake like that. They but, were probably just trying to but make like, it, like... Uh, make it look like a turkey. Like, a human body made to look like a turkey, uh, in a way. And it was, like, just... It was, like, damn. That looks like a human turkey. Like, they... Uh, uh, that looked like it. And I was, like, damn, what kind of, like, makeup, makeup did they do? or... Like, what, what did they do to that? That was... The, that must have been 
something else. I don't, I don't that know. was interesting. Like, and seeing... that must have made, been made out of an actual like meat because they had to cut it. Yeah, like so. I, mean, I was like... surprised at how they were like cutting every like literally. Like, I will say this: that's impressive. Even though me. I was not expecting some of the gore shots that they had for most of this, because I thought it would either be off screen or it wouldn't be as crazy as it was. Mm-hmm. I was surprised at how um, some of the deaths in this, like, Which I wouldn't definitely be shocked gave... because this guy was this his first director of the B? Because I'd only seen that he's only produced like most. He's only produced most horror stuff. He did um, he did one other film that I already watched, which is The Green Inferno, which I probably will not show you because that is extreme cannibalized body horror. Oh, Lord. uh, but. I was like he produ- he was a pro- I think he was a producer on that. And that that's that's a film that has a lot of gore in it. So I was just like this guy is not new to like the horror. But scene. I I liked how this story went though. Like I thought it was interesting. Mm-hmm. Also, um here's another thing I like I wanted to say. It does give Final Destination vibes. It does. I'm not going to lie. If you are a fan of Final Destination and you liked all the kill shots in it, this is probably a good movie to watch for y'all if you really like that shit. Half of the shit I was not expecting in this. I think, um, let's go over, like, the worst, like, the best death, in your opinion, and the worst death. So, who do you think had the be- the worst death? Let's start with that. I don't know. Because to me, like, the worst one, in my opinion, when he, like, put the little, like, corn cob things in that... She didn't die. I know, but that, that got me. That got me, and then, like, the whole thing with, like, her... I thought it... uh, I'm sorry, by the way, I misinformed you. I thought that was happening in the eye, not the... Not the ears. <laughs> I forgot. I was not expecting that. I, I, like, I was, I I was about to be like, yeah. you said it was in the eye, honey. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm sorry. I thought it was. I thought it had something to do with, like, her, her eye. Like, putting the, the eye, contact, contact in. in her eye. But no, it was the ear thing. Like, that's the first Which thing. Which I that, don't like either. I really hate that. I hate the fact that, like. They did that as, like, a. I, I don't like it either, which is fine. I, I'm more. I more hate it when like people have to like live with with some type of like long lasting long lasting injury like that with like okay you lived but what is the consequences of that yeah like that which I'm sure they will never dwell on but you know go on ahead still I guess. like that honestly was crazy but no I think oh like worst got death? the death that got me I guess no the worst one and then the best one what is the one that you feel like they could have done a lot better on. Like, execution-wise. I don't wise. know what the worst one is. I will tell you the best one, though. Let's the look, death that got me. Hold on. Um, worst one, in my opinion, execution-wise. Mm-hmm. Um, probably what they did with that one jock that uploaded the video. His, I feel like they just did it as a cop-out when they smacked his fucking head. I feel like that was a fucking cop-out. They didn't know what else to do because they already did all, like, the more interesting ones. He just got his head smashed. He just got his head smashed. Like, I feel like they could have done something better with that. But maybe it's just me. It's an easy way to do it. Someone's getting their head smashed. But I feel like they could have done something better. Like, a lot of the deaths in this were actually very interesting. Like, and very, like, uniquely done. Mm -hmm. In a sense. Like, I feel like that's one of the more lackluster ones, I feel like, in my opinion. But that would probably be the worst death for me, in my opinion. Can you think of one for you? Or not I really? Can't. I can't. I can think of the best one, though. Okay, I'll go over mine then first. What's the best one? The best one for me that I thought was the most executed is a tie between the lady getting her entire fucking torso, like, smashed in half. Between... Oh, wait, no, she did die. Yeah, she did. Oh, I was like, wait, I thought, okay, never mind. I wasn't into it. <laughs> no, that's a different lady. The, okay, that's a different. The girl that's that, why there was too many fucking. Because I was like, wait, she's like, no, she's dead. The girl that got I, the corn cobs in the ears was Scuba's boyfriend. I, not boyfriend, girlfriend. Yes, there was a kid named Scuba in this. I'm not Scuba. joking. There was literally a guy named Scuba. Thank God, the black guy lived. Yes, fucking thank you. Thank you. Because I kept saying, please live, please, please live. live, please live, please live. 
I'm actually surprised. Don't let, like, the cocky black guy die for, like, once in these movies. And that's actually good that he didn't. Thank the fucking Lord. Anyway, the one that got the corn cobs in her ears was Scuba's girlfriend. The other one was, like, I think the waitress lady. That was a different person. But for me, the death... I have two deaths that are kind of the best one, in my opinion. Like, I'm tied between... The waitress lady getting cut in half, and basically they, they... I don't know how the fuck they did it. They put her fucking lower half on the fucking sign. To I don't know honest, how the fuck they did that. To be honest, I was like... I kind of laughed at that because I was like... You laughed at the, that? Unless those... Unless there was a knight, like Unless there was, like, serrated blades on top of that goddamn... Like dumpster, dumpster. There's no way her body's gonna get cut in half. I don't by know a lid I, of a I, dumpster. The most you're gonna be like is ow, and you get you get bruised. Like, I was not expecting that, but then again, the car went like full force into it, so it's probably like like a law of physics thing or something. It's got to be a physics thing. There's, there's no law of physics. Sometimes you just like to get the kill shot. I get it, but. To me, that one, like, I, that was probably one of the more unique ones that they did. And I was actually surprised at that. I was like, I thought they I were literally just almost screamed the- holy shit in the theater. I almost screamed holy shit. But- I thought she was just going to be stuck in the freezer. I thought it was going to be a freezer death. Me too. And then, like, that's why I was, like, more uniquely done. Like, it, we thought it was going to be, like, a freezer death, but she ended up getting, like, pfft, like, crazy. And then the second one that I basically I tie with it. It's probably the human turkey is what I'm going to call it. The human turkey. That I was not expecting. Like, I was not expect. I, I was expecting, like, her getting burned alive because we've kind of already seen that. I'm looking at you, Final Destination 3. Mm-hmm. I think it was 3, right? Yeah, they got, like... Burned alive. They got burned alive in the tanning bed. Yeah. That gave that kind of vibe at first. I was like, oh gosh, not this <laughs> and again. Then the, and then the fucking and then cut away s- death to the coffins. That that was great. That was great editing. I will oh give them gosh. that. I will give them that. I for Final them Destination that too. 3. I, there's a lot. And then though, all connected to 9-11. Because everything connects to 9-11. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I will say this before I continue on my rant. Even though I'm not that big on gore stuff, I will admit Final Destination did interesting with it. At Mm -hmm. least it kept me engaged, which I was actually surprised at. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we have reviewed that. It's on the channel. Go look at it. I've talked about it a bunch of times. Anyway, um, the human turkey one is what I'm going to call this. I was not expecting him to serve it, her, on the fucking table it literally looked like the S, the equivalent of what the cartoon turkey would look like in live action. That was great, though. I liked it. It was interesting. Like, that's probably one of the most unique deaths I think I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah. Like, normally people do it as, like, a gag or, like, a joke. They actually literally did it. They literally fucking did it. Yes. And I was like, okay. I'll tell you the death that got me. Hold on. I'm almost done. Ah! And the part that got me the worst with that is just them cutting her fucking leg, like carving it, mm. like an actual turkey. I was like, it did look delicious though. I'm not oh god, it did look kind of good. I was like, <laughs> oh gosh, are they actually gonna cut it? I was like, is he actually gonna cut it? And then I was like, oh shit, here we go. <laughs> it did look kind of good. It looked so gross. It looked. Good. It looked so gross. It looked and good. I felt so bad. It looks the- cooked. I'm like, damn, you got it all. Like I was like, I lean to you. It's like at least he knows how to season. You know. That was the <laughs> one thing I was surprised you said in the fucking movie. I was like, are you fucking serious, Jay? Like at least he knew how to season it. We were sat like, next to like I guess a couple friends or something. Maybe he did that because he was like, I'm a good baker. Because he said that in the beginning. I'm like, I'm a good baker. Gosh, I didn't think about that. I'm a good baker. Damn it. I'm a good cook. So I know how to season my meats. And I just, I was like, oh my gosh, are you fucking serious? Now, I, I, now I'm like, damn, I should have fucking got that. I was like, I honestly, like, I will talk about that in a minute. Yeah. But um, what's the death that got you, like, the best one in your opinion? I want to hear this. Uh, In the beginning with the... With the guy um, who was, I was dreading. Uh, that was the most I was like, no, fuck you. No, stop. And I was like, oh, I didn't want to do that. 
the guy who's trying to open the door to let the no. people in and he got in the in the door cracked and it and like landed on him. It landed on him and he got trampled and he got pretty much shredded shredded by glass. Shredded. He just got fucking. I was not expecting all you that. to say that. No, actually. it did. It did because it was like, ugh, ah. Uh. Because I react to deaths that well, can most likely happen in real life, and that that's the best. Probably one not only probably has happened and it will continue to happen but uh it it got me i'm like to be crushed and trampled to death while shards of glass is constantly digging into your fucking flesh that is terror that is terrifying that that legit was like because it's it's like a perfect thing because norm because when you know that a death is coming you can you will feel it in your fucking soul and that that's for me that's the definition of a good death when you're anticipating like it's arrival you know it's going to happen but you don't want it to happen i was not expecting you to actually you don't talk want about it to one. happen because it's like he didn't do nothing wrong he did nothing wrong i was like don't open the door don't open the door and he was like he but he did open the door, and I felt bad for him. At first, I thought he was going to run away as soon as the glass started cracking, and then everyone was going to get trampled, and whoever got trampled on the, the, the glass door was going to get, like, cuts and bruises and shit. No. I thought that was going to happen at first. I was going to be like, oh, gosh. No, I hate that. I hate that. I, like, legit, it was like, oh, God. Ah, oh, that's ha- probably happened to, like, one or two people who probably didn't deserve it and were just doing their job. That's probably happened in real life, and I I know that's happened in real life before. So that that kind of made me a little bit sad. I was like, "Damn, that's kind of fucked, man. That's kind of that was the most fucked up part of that movie." I was like, "No, God, now I can't stop thinking about it. Now I'm just sad." <laughs> anyway, um, so I guess we have a few more questions. So another one is, what did you think of? Who the killer actually was, because I'm not going to lie. Put the plushies back first. Why? Because you keep distracting us with the plushies. I'm not distracting. I'm distracting you. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Okay. So, for me, I was actually not expecting the sheriff to be the killer. I was actually expecting the husband of the the wife who died Mm -hmm. to be the fucking killer. I thought it was going to be him. I'm not going to lie. I literally thought it was going to be him for, like, the whole movie. But he fucking disappeared. Where the fuck did he go? Did he just, like, mourn so much that he just left? Like, he just, like, fucking got he out of there. Died. I don't know. I don't think he died. He didn't die. He was Which just... I was surprised at. I'm surprised he didn't also didn't get killed. If he did get killed, it was off screen or something. Because, like, we see him for, like, the first part... And he's like crying about what happened. Well, he's probably wife. well. He the killer was only going after the people that effectively caused the stampede to happen. I know, but so that's pretty much. And he didn't cause the stampede. He was just doing. I his know, job. but I actually thought he was going to be the one that was the killer. I was not expecting. Well, I'm surprised. I'm like the fucking I'm like, sheriff. Okay, well, props to you, I guess. The like props to you for not actually going after. Like, you know, the, the uh, what you consider to be the ex-lover in this situation. Which I was surprised at. I was it's actually like, surprised okay, at okay, well, but I think they just kind of forgot him that he existed from the movie. they forgot him, I swear. I was like, okay, I think maybe you just kind of forgot that he existed, but okay. I don't know. But anyway, what did you think of the killer that they decided to have, like, as the sheriff? Oh. I was not expecting that, to be honest. I had a feeling when it was closer to the end, I was like... I literally saw the stuff on the shrubs on him and I was like, no, no, it better not be you, bitch. It better fucking not be you. And it was him. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Because <laughs> I was like, I didn't think I didn't suspect him at all, literally at all until that happened. And I was like, great. It's the fucking sheriff. Dad. Yep. Why? <laughs> Why? Anyway, what did you think of the sheriff being the killer? Um. Whoopsie, I threw the sock. <laughs> um. I don't know. Good roll. 
good casting role. Honestly, yeah, but, like, that, the whole, like, chase scene at the end was also getting me. But, like, I'm not gonna lie. This movie was so interesting. This was such a good movie. Props to the fucking cinematography in it as well. And also, literally, the fucking sheriff shot the fucking roof and then the title card came out. I I was like, now that is a fucking title card right there. Well, it's kind of dumb, but it's kind of fun. That's how I would rate this movie. Yeah. But, um, I guess, do you have anything else to say about it before we uh, give our rating? Not really. I mean, it kind of just... that That's the first thing. It peaked in the first ten minutes for me. And then it in was your just, opinion. In my opinion. And then it was just like... Meh. But, like... I was just kind of meh while watching it. Um, did you still have fun, though? I did have fun. I did have fun with it. Um, I would probably give Thanksgiving the movie... I'm just going to put in quotes the movie. Because <laughs> it's just called Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So to make it not confusing with the actual holiday, we're just going to call Thanksgiving the movie. But I would give it an 8.5. I actually really enjoyed it. I was not expecting to enjoy this, to be honest with you. Or at least, like... As much as I did. But it was good. I'm not going to lie. I was actually surprised how good it was. I would and give it... I would definitely watch it again. I would give it a six. You give it a six? Yeah. Would you watch it again? Mm-hmm. But honestly, if you guys have not seen it, this movie just came out. We're not sponsored or whatever. But we did go see this movie in theaters. And stuff. I do recommend you guys going to watch it. If you're into like horror movie stuff of all around in, like holidays and stuff like that. And if you like Final Destination and you happen to like the the deaths from it, I do recommend going to give this movie a try. I thought it was good and stuff. And I'm genuinely surprised how good it was. But but yeah. So this is part one of our four part Thanksgiving special. Yeah. We have two more we have three more parts we're gonna be doing. So be on the lookout for those. We're going to be trying to record them tomorrow, the mm-hmm. rest of the parts, and then hopefully this should be up before Thanksgiving. We're trying to make it before Thanksgiving with this because this was taking longer than I was expecting, to be honest. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm Mari. I'm Jay. And we're out.